Hello, this is Rohit and we will be solving the problem Chef on Date. Its difficulty level is cakewalk and it requires observation. It appeared in Starters 47. Chef and his girlfriend go on a date. Chef took X dollars with him and was quite sure that this would be enough to pay the bill. But at the end, the waiter brought a bill of 5 dollars. So our task is to print yes if Chef has enough money to pay the bill or no if he has to borrow from his girlfriend and leave a bad impression on her. For our input, the first link will contain a single integer t, which is the number of test cases. And then for each test case, we will have two integers, x and y. x is the amount chef has with him, and y is the cost of the bill. And for output, we have to print yes if chef has enough money to pay the, to pay the bill, and no otherwise. Now let's have a look at the sample test cases. For the first case, x is 1, that means chef has one dollar on him and y is equal to one that means they have a bill of y dollars so as chef has more money than the total cost of the bill we say that the answer is yes because chef is able to pay the bill without borrowing any money so the answer would be yes in this case for the second test case x has the value one which means Chef has one dollar on him and y is equal to two. That means they have a bill of two dollars. So as chef has less money than the cost of the bill, chef will need to borrow some money from his girlfriend and hence we say that the answer is no. For the third case, x is two and y is one. So chef has two dollars on him and the bill is of one dollar. So as chef has more money than the total cost of the bill, we say that the answer is yes because chef will be able to pay off the bill and for the fourth and the final case x is 50 chef has 50 dollars and the bill is of 100 dollars so as the bill has more cost than the amount chef has on him chef will need to borrow some money from his girlfriend and hence the answer will be no so now let's write the pseudo code to this problem for each test case, we have two integers x and y. x is the amount that chef has and y is the cost of the bill. We'll take the input and we'll check for the condition and the answer is yes. So the answer would be yes when chef has more money than the cost of the bill. That means the answer will be yes if x is greater than or equal to y. We print yes. Otherwise, if x is less than y, that means chef has less money than the total cost of the bill and chef will need to borrow some money. And hence the answer in this case would be no. If you are still unable to understand the problem or not able to get the correct answer to your code, then don't worry, you can ask your doubt to our doubt solvers. So what you have to do is, you have to go to the practice problem section and then search for the problem which you are having difficulty in. Let's say the problem code of that problem is DNA storage. So you search for the problem, go to the problem and then under the ask a doubt tab, you can go and ask your doubts and your doubts would be cleared instantly. Let's have a look at the implementation. We take an input T, which is the number of test cases. Then we run the loop of length T. For each test case, we have two integers X and Y. We take the input and we check for the condition when the answer is yes and the condition is x should be greater than or equal to y and if it satisfies the condition we print yes otherwise we print no the time complexity in this case would be constant because we are just performing constant time operations such as comparison